Although six gill sharks are actually very widely distributed, you're never going to hook one normally because they just live so deep down. We're talking 6,000 feet and, and more. And to fish that deep, you, you'd need an enormous reel and where you've got any kind of water movement, it, you know, it just wouldn't be possible acting on all that line. You wouldn't be able to detect a bite. You wouldn't know when you're on the bottom. It just wouldn't be possible. However, the thing with six gills is it is known that during the night, they actually come up as close to the surface as 300 feet, and that is doable. You've still got to have serious gear. We're talking a very big fish, so a very strong circle hook. It's called a circle hook because the point curves in on the shank there. And the great thing about these is that they will hook in the corner of the mouth, so that's not deep hooking the, the shark. This is attached to 30 feet of plastic coated wire cable. The reason you need that is because the skin of the shark is very abrasive. It's like thousands of tiny teeth and they will just tear through anything else. Main line was 130 pound braking strain, big reel and the drag almost to locking point. So it's pretty well locked up. Almost so it's impossible to take line off that. Even so, these fish, they're very big fish, they would still take line. Steaming off taking line. That's a very strong fish. I mean, that is a very strong animal. And even with this gear, you're talking a good half hour, sometimes maybe an hour, to get the fish up to the surface. I'm breaking quite a sweat here. Oh, there we go, some little bit of gain there. That's the fish, there it is. The deck hand then puts on his gloves, maybe somebody to help him, and they pull in those last, uh, those last 30 feet. And when you see the fish surfacing, it's, it's, it's just unbelievable. A true sea monster, as terrifying as anything from the depths of our imagination.